On the 22nd of May 2009, the Japanese ambassador to Kenya, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Defense, the head of the International Peace Support Training Center, as well as the country director for the United Nations Development Program in Kenya, joined members to launch the IPSTC, which is the International Peace Support Training Center. The project, Peace Support Operation Training and Institutional Capacity Enhancement at the International Peace Support Training Center, is being implemented with financial assistance from Japan in the amount of 3.56 million US dollars for a two-year period that commenced in 2009. IPSTC is an independent Eastern African research and training and education center that is responsive to the peace operations training and education requirements of the Africa Peace and Security Architecture. These interventions will greatly contribute to peace building, security and conflict prevention for the 13 countries in the region, which are Sudan, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Comoros, Seychelles, Madagascar and Mauritius. This year of being the engine of PSO capacity enhancement in the region, therefore, uh, is greatly honored to, uh, to be charged with the responsibility uh, of implementing this particularly important uh, uh, program together with UNDP. UNDP is the other partner that uh, is implementing this project together with uh, the International Peace Support Training Center and the Eastern Africa Standby Brigade Coordinating Mechanism. And therefore, uh, within the program, we expect that by the end of the entire program, we should be able to develop uh, or rather to contribute to the development of capacity of beyond 1,500 uh, men and women uh, at various levels who will be able to contribute not only uh, to the uh, United Nations peace missions, but also to the, uh, to the African uh, Union uh, peace missions. The main objective of this project is to enhance the regional capability in the Africa Union and United Nations peacekeeping and peace building in East Africa. The first training under this project was undertaken on the 20th of April 2009 to the 1st of May 2009 and is called Civil Military Coordination and attracted participants from the region and without. This project corresponds to the United Nations objective of enhanced institutional and technical capacity for disaster, in brackets, man-made and natural, man-made also, and as well as management, preparedness and response. Within that project, what we see happening in terms of uh, real effect on the ground is um, delivery of training across the spectrum. We will have uh, people who are practitioners going into mission areas with practical training. Uh, we will have decision makers uh, who undertake uh, planning for these missions also trained in the two platforms that, are, that I mentioned today, uh, the Peace and Conflict Studies School and the Humanitarian Peace Support School in Embakasi. The training was good, it was fantastic, uh, we enjoyed, we learned a lot, it was quite an experience uh, and I believe the training will be helpful to me maybe in, in, the, near, in the future, maybe in case of deployment to UN peacekeeping missions. Uh, what I've learned will really help me a lot in uh, being able to handle the situations that are out there. The situations I believe are challenging, but I think the information that I got and the knowledge that I have now that I did not have, I'll be able to face the challenges. This training has been so beneficial to us. Uh, I'm personally from Uganda, but we got not only knowledge but even the skills. We had the classroom exercises and then the field. So it is not only going to even help in peacekeeping, but even in our own policing in our country. So it is beneficial to both the UN service and even in our day-to-day -day policing challenges. In peacekeeping, we want to see ourselves being trained even locally, being equipped before we get to the mission. Sometimes it becomes very expensive to train officers from afar before they can go to the mission. And if such an infrastructure will be maybe put up in certain countries like Zambia and other countries, yes, for sure we are going to benefit, and even our officers. I'm glad to say that this project uh, with the IPSTC 
uh, is a very successful one. Uh, we, we are about to start, but the, the content of the project is already there. So only thing we have to do is just to implement this project. In other countries, we sometimes face uh, uh, problems uh, even in, in just uh, formulating the content of the project. So uh, I'm very glad to see that uh, our co cooperative relationship between Japan and Kenya, uh, uh, with the assistance of uh, UNDP, uh, uh, is working very well here. Probably it is because of our long-standing uh, friendly relationship. Uh, our mutual understanding has been established already, so I'm sure that uh, uh, the implementation of this project will uh, produce a very good uh, outcome.